The BACTSR-2, or Tactical Strike and Reconnaissance Mach 2, was a Cold War-era British aircraft that aimed to replace the Royal Air Force's English Electric Canberra and Vickers Valiant. It was designed and built by the British Aircraft Corporation in the 1960s to be a versatile, high-speed, low-level strike and reconnaissance aircraft. It was intended to be a cutting-edge jet, boasting advanced avionics and innovative design features. The TSR-2 was designed to fly at Mach 2, with a range of over 1,000 nautical miles, and carry a variety of nuclear and conventional weapons. Unfortunately, the program was abruptly cancelled, and the TSR-2 became one of the most controversial aircraft projects in British history. The TSR-2's design was quite revolutionary for its time. It featured a delta wing with a high sweep angle and a large vertical tail fin. The aircraft was powered by two Bristol Siddeley Olympus engines, each producing 30,610 pounds of thrust. One of the most unique features of the TSR-2 was its terrain-following radar, TFR, system, which enabled it to fly safely at low altitudes, hugging the terrain to avoid detection by enemy radar. Additionally, the aircraft was equipped with advanced navigation and attack systems, allowing it to accurately deliver both nuclear and conventional payloads. Despite its promising capabilities, the TSR-2 project faced numerous challenges since its development began in 1959. From technical difficulties and delays to political wrangling and budget constraints, the program struggled to maintain momentum. In April 1965, the newly elected Labour government decided to cancel the project, citing cost overruns and delays as the primary reasons. The cancellation of the TSR-2 remains a contentious issue to this day. Critics argue that the decision was short-sighted, and led to a decline in Britain's aviation industry. They also contend that the government's decision to purchase the American F-111 aircraft, as a replacement was a costly mistake, as the F-111 ultimately faced its own set of delays and cost overruns. On the other hand, some argue that the TSR-2 was simply too ambitious and expensive, and that the government's decision to cancel the project was a necessary move to save resources. Although the TSR-2 never entered service, its legacy lives on, through the lessons learned during its development. The project highlighted the challenges and risks associated with developing cutting-edge aviation technology, particularly when it comes to managing costs and meeting deadlines. In some ways, the TSR-2 story is a cautionary tale that has influenced subsequent aircraft projects in the UK and beyond. The experience gained from the TSR-2 program has helped to shape the development of later British aircraft, such as the Panavia Tornado and the Eurofighter Typhoon. Moreover, the TSR-2's advanced design and innovative features have inspired a new generation of engineers and aviation enthusiasts. Many of the aircraft's capabilities, like its terrain-following radar and sophisticated avionics, have since become standard in modern military aircraft. Though the BAC TSR-2 never got the chance to prove itself in service, its story remains an important part of aviation history. As we look back on this remarkable aircraft, we're reminded of the potential risks and rewards associated with pushing the boundaries of technology. The few surviving TSR-2 prototypes are now on display in various museums across the UK, serving as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the engineers and designers who worked on this iconic aircraft.